it is not that difficult to understand how to make a good masala film. You need a hero, you need a villain that is larger than life, that puts the hero in extremely difficult spots and the hero has to climb out of a well, so to speak, to come out of the challenges put across to him and therefore come out victorious. And that is what keeps the audiences thrilled and glued to the screen like we saw in Singham 1, like we see in all the good masala action movies. But in Singham again, which also is obviously a adaptation of the Ramayan, there is not a second in which there is an obstacle put up by the villain that is even remotely challenging for even two seconds in the hero's mind. Now, as the police force, I understand they're supposed to be fearless, they are depicted all that, I get all of those things, but the level of overconfidence and the lack of obstacles in this movie makes it completely flat as an entertainer. If there is not a single moment of doubt in the hero's mind or his team's mind that they can go defeat the villain and bring back Sita and all these things, then what are we watching the film for? If we know that, there's nothing interesting. There's nothing, we know the end, we know what's going to happen, we know they're going to easily defeat the villain, then there's nothing much to watch. There's no gripping element to watch. There's no ups and downs of the characters to watch. There's no ups and downs of the plots and subplots for us to be entertained. And that is where Singham again falls flat on its face. The confidence level of Singham and all his other cops, Tiger Shroff, Deepika Padukone, Ranveer Singh, Akshay Kumar is so high and so out there that there's not for a single second or half a second that any one of them think that this is an unaccomplishable task, that the challenges are too high and so on. Tiger Shroff is introduced and gets a bullet in his stomach and immediately there's a story about how when he was a kid he was poisoned and then nothing happened to him so magically and he's that therefore he's laughing when there's a bullet in his stomach because nothing can happen. Well, if he's so invincible, why is he in the movie? There's not adding any importance to the character, any sort of gravitas to the villain. There's nothing. He's just going to go and kill everyone himself because he doesn't get affected in any way. Singham is a god level police at this point where every state has a version of Singham and they look up to him and they worship him and cherish him and he's their guru and he's so amazing and perfect that he can never go wrong and he can never be defeated. Well, if he can't be defeated, what's the point of watching this movie? Why even pose a challenge to him if he's so good? Um, and same with Ranveer Singh, who I understand is playing Hanuman, who's fearless, he was full of life and all those things. And we know the story, but for a movie entertainment perspective, if he's going and cracking jokes on a very serious situation and he's not at all scared and he's going alone, coming out of there alone, he has just no fear, he's just goofing around all the time, then how is that adding to any level of seriousness in the movie? That doesn't make any sense. So this is just a repeat pattern in the full movie where the villain is just not strong enough, has no ideas and to create obstacles. All he does is kidnap Sita and that's it. And then other than that, he has nothing. And then he says, send all your police forces here, I'll take care of them, but he does nothing. He, the ultimate Ram Ravan fight, which is the most epic battle that is supposed to be difficult, challenging, goes on for days. No such thing. Within two minutes, Singham can destroy Ravan. No problem at all. One hand is enough to put it in the mud and defeat him. Like, what was the point? You were waiting for the full movie for maybe if the full movie was not that good, at least make the final battle that interesting. That is also did not happen in this movie. Arjun Singh as the villain, all he's asked to do is give that evilish smile of his that he's done in various other movies. And because that smile looks evil, the director was probably like, just keep doing that. You have no other power. You can't do much. You have an army of people, but all you do is smile. And that's your strength to show how big of a villain you are. How is it doing anything for the audience to keep them thrilled, glued, hooked to the screen? It is not funny. It is not you know, the action is kind of boring and outdated with just things blasting here and there. People that we, everything that we saw in the trailer, all the actors, their appearances, everything is already shown in the trailer. So there's nothing new in the movie to watch. All the critical points and turning points are also shown in the trailer. So there's nothing to watch. So what exactly do we do in this film other than sit there waiting for it to end and waiting for something to happen? The movie ends and then we have the much known Salman Khan appearance which instead of putting it in the critical juncture of the movie, after the credit, they have a literal 30 second, if even 30 second scene of him just turning around and saying, Swagat nahi karoge hamara, and that's it. Like, that's also not a valuable cameo. That's also not a, that's like a promo for another movie. It says, uh, Mission Chulbul Singham. 
okay, well, that's a different movie you're going to make. What does that got to do with this movie? And why is that an end credit in this movie? It has nothing to do with it. At least when the first Simba was made, there was, you know, Singam appearing at a critical juncture. When uh, Surya Vanshi was made, Simba and Singam appeared at a critical juncture. At least there was something. And now it's just, you know, a bunch of people just thrown into a movie to goof around, be overconfident. And there's no villain on this earth that can defeat them. And so this universe now, if they continue it, which they will, and they're combining Chulbul and Singam, has to come up with the greatest villain we've seen since Gabbar Singh and Mogambo. Otherwise, what is the point of watching a movie where both of these characters are so confident and overconfident that they'll just go and hit people and it'll be done with? That model will not work going forward. So again, I don't know what to expect in the future, but this movie fell flat for me and I'm happy that the movie is doing well. 80 crores in two days and the people are going and watching, celebrating Diwali and getting entertained. Very happy for those people and everyone that's liking this movie. But from a product perspective, writing perspective, screenplay perspective, character development perspective, there was nothing this film has to offer. Whatever you saw in the trailer, that's literally what's there in the movie. And so if you didn't like the trailer, you're not going to like the movie. If you watch the trailer, there's nothing new in the movie. So completely straightforward, kind of boring film. I'm going with two stars for Singham again. Let me know your thoughts and comments below. Until then, like, comment, share, subscribe and keep watching for much, much more.